and welcome to Girl Talk. Thanks so much for joining us. We're here at Bella Domicile off Nesbitt Road having a lovely time as always. How are you guys doing? Good, as always, right? Yeah, we glad to see here. you. You know, I'm excited today because so often we show up in black. We're colorful today. But today we're actually feeling a little, I think you know what we're trying to do is we're trying to beat the winter drab yes. and get colorful. We've kind of got like earthy jewel tones going. Yeah. So. And I actually went back to sleeveless because it's 40 degrees. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Shorts, right? No. But um, we are trying to make ourselves feel better about winter because it's yeah. a little gray out. But you know what? It's okay. It's almost the end of January. We're plugging right through. Mm -hmm. No we'll, big deal. We'll make it. We'll again. make it. We'll make it. <laughs> Hopefully. So we have a fabulous show for you today. So we, as I mentioned, are at the showroom here at Bella Domicile. We're going to chat with the folks here later in the show about some really unique things that they have learned this year on a field trip, right? They did. Like they, that. Took, they took a field trip all the way to Florida <laughs> without us. Right. <laughs> uh, but it's really unique because one of the things that I think is so fascinating about this industry and in design is it's constantly changing. Mm -hmm. And if you aren't changing with the industry, you're behind. So these guys right. do a, a phenomenal job of making sure they're ahead of industry trends so that they can transfer the knowledge and information to our cust their customers and ultimately to you, our viewers, as well. So we mm -hmm. look forward to that. If you guys had to have one thing you could add to your kitchen, just making up a gadget or a gizmo or something you could use, what would it be? Well, have you seen the galley sink? <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Probably the galley sink. Do That's you, a big wish, but yeah. Do you oh, know my awesome. neighbor is actually installing a galley sink? Really? Oh, practically yes. as we speak right now, yes. I have galley sink envy. <laughs> yeah. I wish I could have a gadget that could take things out of my sink and then put them in the, the dishwasher for me. Oh, it's a husband. That's what I need then. <laughs> oh, just teasing. <laughs> That's easy. <laughs> just kidding. Um, yeah, that sounds like a fabulous idea. <laughs> Um, we we should have known that it, she wanted the question to be asked of her, really. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, a fabulous show coming up today. We're talking to Dance Wisconsin about a wonderful choreography event. You don't want to miss that discussion. It's going to be an incredible event. We'll tell you about it in a little while. We're also talking bridal, so if you've got a wedding to plan, you got your daughter or your son planning a wedding, we're going to tell you some great tips from Moments to Cherish about dresses for the mother of the bride. So we look and the groom to it. and the mm -hmm. groom. Thanks. <laughs> so that's all going to be here on Girl Talk. You can stick around with me, Janet, and Ellen. We'll be back. We're here at Bella Domicile with Girl Talk. So please stay right there. Welcome back to Girl Talk. We are enjoying ourselves here in the fabulous showroom at Bella Domicile off Nesbitt Road. We're going to be chatting with these folks a little bit later to give you some great tips and tricks of the trade. But right now we're talking about weddings and dresses, but we're not talking about bridal dresses. We're actually talking mother of the bride today. And joining us is expert, our resident Girl Talk expert, <laughs> Arlene DeForest, who is the owner at Moments to Cherish. And thank Correct. you so much for being here thank today. Thank you for inviting me again. Glad to have you. Now, we've talked about bridal dresses, but for the mother of the bride or mother of the groom, this is an exciting time for them because mm -hmm. it's their opportunity to get dressed up and, and be proud at their, at their baby's big event. So mm -hmm. when should a mother start looking for a dress? She should start looking at six months before the event. Okay, wow. six months out. Yeah. And I think that's plenty of time because you get so excited about that event, right? So you're, <laughs> right. you're like excited to find that perfect dress, but it can be challenging for mothers. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, because of the simple fact that they usually want to lose some weight. <laughs> There's that too. Um, but there is, you know, they do have to get on the stick and <laughs> get going. <laughs> done. Yeah, and you'll help us with that. Right. <laughs> Arlene, I'm just curious. There's been a sort of a tradition that the mother of the bride gets first pick. And uh, mother of the groom, once she sees the color and the style or whatever that the mother of the bride is wearing, then the mother of the groom gets to choose her dress. Is that still true? It is to some extent. I mean, it just depends on, there's women who are always shopping and they may just find something on the sale rack or whatever and they're right. just going to snatch it up. Hope right. it works. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody gets angry. What is the timeline for ordering a mother's dress? Usually four months. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, we can get them sooner, but then there's an additional charge from the company oh. to get them. So it's best if you get started 
right. as soon as you can. At least narrow it down on what you might want. Earlier the better, it right. sounds like. Right. Now you have brought some beautiful dresses with you today. Yeah. How about so popular gorgeous. colors wise? What, um, what do you typically see? Moms really like the darker colors. You know, the jewel tones. Mm -hmm. um, basically because they don't want to stand out quite as much as, they want the bride to stand right. out. Right. So the popular colors are navy blue, um, the silver or the pewter. Oh, love that Is that silver. what that color so is? So pretty. Yeah. It's pewter. almost like a light gray, purpley blue. Right. But that one's know. got, it's, very pretty. it's also got the silver yeah. threads throughout it. Yeah. Gorgeous. And I, what I like about some of the details on these dresses is all the bling is in the dress. You almost don't need mm. the, to worry mm. about the big jewels because right. the dresses right. are so gorgeous and stunning. Um, but let's talk a little bit about the ordering process and is it okay to pick one off the rack? Yes, okay. it's okay to pick off the rack. I mean, because of the simple fact that many moms wait a little too long and they don't want to pay for that. that um, the expediting or, yeah, yeah right. Sure. Um, but anyway, um, most moms, you know, yeah, we'll sell off the rack. It's hmm. good to know that that's an option, but ideally you're ahead of the game and <laughs> able to get it in advance. Right. And probably one of the reasons is fitting. You want it to be that perfect fit, right? right? And you need time to tailor it appropriately. Right. Sure. I mean, none of the dresses come perfect. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, We're not cookie cutter bodies, so right. the dresses are just not going to be cookie cutter. Right. We have that's to go by the measurements and whatever Good. on the manufacturer's yeah, absolutely. style, you cool. know, their... Uh, their sizing chart, we sure. have to go from there and then we have to tailor them down. Yes. We're almost out of time and we are really loving these dresses and I want to make sure you see the back of these dresses too because they're just stunning. Nothing dowdy about these mother's dresses. <laughs> uh, quickly though, what are kind of the price range for some of these? Um, that one on, on your left, on your right there, <laughs> runs for three seventy five, dollars and the other Not one bad. is close to 4 Four fifty, and it's just stunningly beautiful. And that Thank one's you for nice. Sharing these. Yeah, that one's got the jacket, which I think some ladies like to cover right. their arms. Perfect. Yeah. Lots of beautiful choices for mothers of the bride, and brides as well. We'll talk about that another time. This is Arlene, the owner of Moments to Cherish Bridals, and you're watching Girl Talk. We're going to be back with more after this, so please stay with us. Welcome back to Girl Talk. We are here today at Bella Domicile off of Nesbitt Road here in Madison, and we'll be chatting with them a little bit later on in the show. But first with us today, we have Jo Jean Retrum, and you are with Dance Wisconsin. Thanks for being here today. Well, thank you for inviting me. We appreciate it. And we're talking about an event that's coming up for you guys. It's at the end of January, and it's your choreography showcase. And this sounds just like a really cool event, a really cool way for different um, people to show their skills and their mm -hmm. choreography skills, I guess. Um, what would you say is the importance of these performances for this event? Well, it's really very educational. Sure. I mean, we are training um, both young people, teaching them how to choreograph, and also showcasing experienced choreographers who travel all over the country choreographing for different companies and different dancers. I think that's so cool in a lot of different ways, but I think a lot of people just see a dancer and sometimes they don't think about all the choreography that probably goes into that, you know, single performance. So what a cool way to well, show that. Well, I mean, you know, like choreography can really make a dancer look good. Yeah. Or it can make them look really bad. Right. And we, so, interesting. Yeah. And we want to give credit where credit is due or not due. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Exactly. Well, I thought this was very interesting. I had not heard of a choreography showcase and so I was asking you, what is that? And so. We now know it's a chance for choreographers to show off their skills. Why do this? Because it gives um, people experience in per, um, performing, mm -hmm. builds their self-confidence, getting up in front of the stage, in front of people. Um, it, it's an outlet. There aren't that many really good choreographers, so then we help train people to become choreographers, and especially women. There's a lot of very famous men mm -hmm. that choreograph, but there's not as many women. The choreographers are not performing their own choreography in these, right? No. Okay. 
Right. Just want to make sure. Okay. This Very is new cool. for me. This is so they, yeah, they, <laughs> they specialize in in the creative aspect of, of creating what that dance performance is going to look like. Right. And what an incredible planner you must have to be to think about what that's going to be and what that's going to look like and just oh, creatively yeah. what's going to be visually appealing. And this is an opportunity to show off all these different styles and I think mm -hmm. that's really neat to get to highlight that. But let's turn the attention to the dancers for a moment. What dancers are performing this choreography? Where do they come from and what age range are we talking well, about? Well, they're, they're young dancers. Most of them are, I mean, I take dancers in Dance Wisconsin age 12 wow. and up. But most of my dancers now are like 14 up through 18. Great. And I mean, we have one girl, when she was 15, she choreographed her first dance. Wow. And she was amazing. I mean, you have to pick out the music and then you have to pick out your style. And it, she's a very shy, quiet mm -hmm. girl. And I thought, oh, I don't know how she's going to really do. Right. And I mean, all the dancers, they really related really well to her and listened. And she she's won just had awards. It. Yeah, it was she's like had a knack she was for it. amazing. Wow. Sounds like she blossomed. Yeah, yeah. What she's on her third piece now, choreographing. Oh, that's that's incredible. Showcase, yeah. Awesome. And how do you train these dancers? Well, I mean, they take classes. Okay. And they almost take daily classes. They're pretty much there every day. So, and I believe in training dancers in in every style: ballet, jazz, tap, modern, uh, hip hop. Everything, because you never know where you're going to end, end up, right. and what your um, your your you know your skills your that are, are going to right. really you know, show your potential. In, your in repertoire, dancing. right? It's a word I've you know. I mean, you can use. you maybe want to be a ballerina, but you ended up you know really being a great tap dancer, right? And being in a Broadway show, you know, right? So plus you'll be ready for an opportunity that might right. come your way if you've. And then it opens doors for other things. Sure. Yeah, Let's talk a little bit about Dance Wisconsin. This is your company. What else do you do? Okay, so I mean, our company is 40 years old now. Congratulations. So it's really That's exciting. Awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, and we really started with the Nutcracker and then we built um, and added ballets after that. And actually, it was like 25 years ago that we started doing these new pieces and choreographing. I had a friend, he was with American Ballet Theater, and he said, I want to start choreographing. Can I start on your company? And I'm going, whoa, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. So, so that's really how it all started. And then we used to hire people to come in and choreograph till we really started training our own dancers to become choreographers. Right. And it's been really, really amazing. So exciting. Well, congratulations on all your success. Circle back to the event for a second. Overture Center. It's at the Promenade Hall on okay. uh, Saturday, January 28th, 7.30. You can get tickets at Overture Center. We Perfect. look forward to yeah. it. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you so much for being Thank with us, you Joe very Jean, much. with Dance Wisconsin. Yeah. And we'll be right back here on Girl Talk. Stay with us. Welcome back to Girl Talk. As you know, we are filming on location today at Bella Domicile. It's off of Nesbitt Road here in Fitchburg. And it's the moment we've all been waiting for. We've got Dondi <laughs> Drum roll. Falvey, with us today. Yes, we've been waiting. You guys have been teasing us on Facebook. You guys have been at a show in Florida, mm -hmm. teasing us with videos of gadgets and gizmos and all these cool different things. Absolutely. And we want to hear about this experience and what you guys learned. And what does the show feature, and why was it so important for you guys to get out of this cold weather, go to Florida? <laughs> yes. Well, we know that part. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> while, while you were back slip sliding, uh, we were down in Florida, and KBiz is one of the biggest shows in America. There's only two places in America that the show can happen because it's partnered with the Builder Show as well. Okay. So I took some shots. You can see just the enormity of it. But basically, it's a place where we go to... Um, look for products that we need to be carrying, yeah. get education on products. Our customers expect us to be experts, and so that's our responsibility to stay ahead of the curve on, on what's available. You can see there's builders from all over the world there. Yeah. And I also got a chance to uh, see Peyton Manning speak on what? achieving goals, you know, and team building. So it just, it's a great event all over, um, just yeah. to keep your, keep your, Keep learning, basically. Well, I think it's incredible cool. that you guys really do need to be ahead of the curve. We talked a little bit about this when, when we brought in the show, how in this industry you really need to be ahead because it's always changing, and it's really a challenge to keep 
in front of those things so you can bring yeah. them back to us. It's, really neat. It's overwhelming for people just the amount of products that are available. And so. I'm getting overwhelmed just looking yeah. at all of the booths. Wow. And you said vendors from all over the world. Yes. So there had to be just thousands and thousands of different products yes. there. How do you make sense of that? And how do you pick out a few favorites? Well, I you have to go in with a plan. And so <laughs> there's some things that we were looking for. And I also did uh, quite a bit of continuing education, which is required for my uh, CKD certification, certified kitchen designer. Um, so it's just a matter of uh, going in with a plan. You cannot see everything in three days. It's just, it's it's too overwhelming. What were some of your takeaway products then? Well, so the this is the first, there's a very uh, high influence of getting texture into designs. This I is a new that. company. It looks like the, the wood on the wall, barn wood on the wall. What this company is doing that's unique is they have a very simple system. This is basically, um, if we can go back, a Velcro, it's, but it's what? a very thin product. And you can see this is barn siding that's been repurposed, and they have a code on the back of their product that tells the story. You can go to their website and tell us the story of the barn where that wood came from. So, wow. And it's very easy to install. A homeowner cool. could install it, or of course, uh, we could install it for someone too. But it's it's a very unique product. How fabulous to get the backstory. I yes. love, I love yes. that part. Yeah. Uh, of course, you love things when they're repurposed, and that's really cool. But yep. to actually get the backstory too. Yeah, wow. absolutely. Now, there's also this is a row of bidet seats <laughs> at oh. Kohler. So, and this tells you how much of an impact they're putting. But there's also. Uh, we're learning we need to put plugs near toilets when we remodel bathrooms, but there are this many options. You can have a deodorizer, you can have hot water, different temperatures, music, light. So yeah. civilized. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, when you think of people aging, it's sometimes harder for them to care for themselves, and so this is really a trend that we're seeing uh, bidet toilet Love seats. that. That's um, a great point. Yeah. Never thought of it like that. This is a wall-mounted toilet, so this is another thing that's kind of new. This is the actu actuator. This product actually won uh, a gold award in, at KBiz for the best product for bath. Wow. What's neat about a wall-mounted toilet is how easy, who's who's had to clean around the floor oh, on the toilet? That's what I was okay. going to say. Right. Yeah, just go right. right under it. Plus, the, t the tank has to be clean. That, there's that divider between the tank and the toilet that can also be kind of an issue. Um, it's a cleaner look. Also, this takes up less space. The bathroom's a space where there's tight space. So mm -hmm. just uh, the tank is in the wall, and you'll see a, this picture is a cutaway that shows what happens. Oh. The big question is, what happens if something goes wrong? You can remove this panel and get in there to do repairs. Oh. So this is something I think um, we're starting to see and is becoming very prominent How for people. smart. I love that. I Genius. love the making cleaning easier, yes. things that do that. Yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah. Absolutely. So this is the product that won the silver award for kitchen uh, for kitchen design at KBiz. This is the galley dresser. I know yeah. we have the galley workstation, but this is your galley on steroids here. <laughs> um, basically, no it's a piece of furniture. It's a very high quality uh, piece, and you can see all of these little drawers and uh, cubbies where things are uh, put in. Each of these, it's like a piece of art. It's numbered, the dresser, wow. like a piece of oh, art. Oh, like art is. Okay. Yeah, and uh, so, but just the unique, the so, Everything that you do in a kitchen could basically be done right here. Very wow. exclusive. So Come, and there's nice. some different finishes, of course. Um, it's also showing the new galley tap, which uh, we're going to talk about. That's the ultimate in organization to me when it comes to kitchen. I mean, just making things easy and convenient and organized and tucked away. And oh, I like we'll keep. It. The other thing that people love is that the mess is all right there. Yeah. You never have to have this area, this area, this area. So it's all happening right at that location. The galley tap is a new faucet, and it takes advantage of some brand new technology. It's all stainless steel, so if you have stainless steel refrigerators, you know, you know that magnets don't stick to stainless steel. Mm -hmm. But what this has, brand new technology, that this has a magnetic catch that catches the, the hose that pulls out. Uh, this thing has a 27-inch long reach with the, wow. with the pullout. So with the galley workstation being a larger piece of appliance, okay. basically, you can... Really stretch it out. Yes. And the other thing that's kind of unusual is faucets like this usually don't have the choice of stream or spray, mm -hmm. but it's got the little dot there, So and that's their wow. soap dispenser. So it's 
kind of an art piece, brand new technology. Tons um, of cool things. Yeah. But now, can we get these? Uh, if there's more. We're going to run out of time. But can we actually get these at Bella? How do we, we get can, these can. We, we have the galley, the galley tap. Um, so we, we spec toilets and things, too. So yes, all of those things are available. Uh, the one item, the light shelf, is a lighting for inside. That's a product I think we'll probably be bringing on. Uh, but once again, we got to kind of figure out what's going to be needed. Right. For, wow. for our you take all these unique design elements and then also listen to your clients here and figure out what the best solutions are. Well, you guys are fabulous. Thank you so much for having us and sharing all these unique design ideas with us. This is Dondi Zambat Falvi here at Bella Domicile. Thanks for having us. Thank you for watching. Join us next time here on Girl Talk.